the midnight Walmart. In the heart of Milwaukee's bustling urban landscape, there stood an old Walmart, a relic that seemed out of place among the city's modernity. It was known by locals as the Midnight Walmart, not just for its 24-hour service, but for the bizarre occurrences that seem to happen each year on Black Friday. The Midnight Walmart had a macabre legend attached to it. Every Black Friday, it was said that the store offered a deal that was too good to be true. And every year, one shopper who sought out this ultimate bargain was never seen again. This year, a group of college friends, drawn by the thrill and the legends, decided to test the fates. They met up in the cold, with the wind biting through their coats, laughing off the superstitions as they joined the line that snaked around the building. The anticipation was palpable as the crowd waited for the doors to open. When the clock struck midnight, the line lurched forward. The friends were funneled through the automatic doors into the gaping maw of the store, fluorescent lights flickering overhead like a warning. The friends dispersed into the labyrinth of aisles, each chasing their own deal. Jenna sought a new TV. Tom was after a gaming console, while Alex and Sam were enticed by promises of heavily discounted smartphones. As they navigated through the crowd, the store seemed to distort around them, airless, stretching out and warping in ways that defied the store's blueprints. The cheerful holiday music over the speakers warped into a dissonant jangle, unsettling in its tempo. Jenna, reaching the electronics department, found her TV. But as she approached, she noticed something off about the reflection in the screen. It showed a shadowy figure standing behind her, yet when she turned, there was no one there. She shook off the unease and grabbed the TV. Tom, meanwhile, found the gaming section to be unusually deserted. The console he wanted sat alone on a shelf, a single box in a pool of light. As he reached for it, the air chilled, and he heard a whisper. Take it and it's yours forever. Shivers ran down his spine, but the adrenaline of getting the deal won over, and he snatched the box. Alex and Sam, finding the smartphone display, realized the phones were older models, ones that shouldn't even be in stock. As they picked them up, the screens lit up with images of the previous year's Black Friday, showing faces of shoppers filled with terror. The friends regrouped, each sharing tales of strange happenings, but they laughed it off as stress and exhaustion. However, as they made their way to the checkouts, they realized that none of the other shoppers were around. The store was silent, except for the hum of the lights. When they reached the front, the cashier was unusually gone, with eyes that seemed too deep. He scanned each item, the booth echoing too loudly in the empty store. Enjoy the deals, he hissed, for this bargain is your last. The friends hurried out. The door sang shut behind them with the finality that made their hearts race. They loaded their items into the car and noticed the receipt and an extra item they hadn't purchased. And so, they was away. Laughing nervously, they drove off, trying to ignore the growing dread. But as the days passed, each began to experience nightmares. Visions of being trapped within the Walmart searching for an exit that would never appear. The midnight Walmart stood there, stoic in the winter nights, a beacon for bargain hunters. But for those who knew the truth, it was a reminder that in Milwaukee, on Black Friday, some prices were far too high to pay.